okay so I decided to just do like a small pot I'm not gonna do my big stock pot so I don't need as much ingredients I'm just gonna do half of my ingredients so I'm putting half of the bag of carrots in then as they start to cook I'm gonna put in the rest of the ingredients Um, the cream of chicken soup is mixed up properly I'm just gonna put it in this bowl with the green beans and the corn and that's what I'll be I'll be putting the whole thing in the pot once the carrots start getting done now I use the cream of uh, chicken soup because it gives it a thicker texture than like liquidy soup. Want to have you like a nice, um, like a like a beef stew type of consistency. That that type of juice texture. I want to say I think. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to get this mixed in together. And I left the corn juice and the green bean juice in. Because that counts as your liquid also. And has the flavor in it. You just want to mix that all together. And of course it's going to thicken while it cooks. But I don't want it real thick anyway, so... Yeah. Carrots are going. They shouldn't take long. And I had put salt, pepper, and parsley in here with the carrots. See how that just mixes up nicely and just put it on in the pot. When the carrots are close to done, I could actually put it in now and just let it all cook together. But because I'm not using fresh um, green beans, you know the green beans in the can, they're already kind of soft. So because I'm not using fresh green beans, I'm not going to put everything in with the carrots until the carrots get a little softer. Because these are the fresh sliced carrots. And they were hard. Hard as a brick. No, not hard as a brick, but, you know. Regular hard carrots. Okay. There's my mixture. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm about to put my green beans, ooh, ooh, ooh. green beans, corn, and cream of chicken in the pot with the carrots that were already cooking. this bigger spoon to give it a mix mix it up and then if the soup doesn't um, have it get the consistency I want it to I'll just put another can in um, yeah I'm going to let that cook down some more. Y'all, I forgot to put my bone broth. <laughs> uh, I'll just let it cook down some more. Oh, 
collect some of the liquid, cook down some more, and then I'll put the bone broth in. And I'll be back. Well, some idiot forgot to put the turkey in. It's me. I'm the idiot. <laughs> I'm the idiot. So I'm going to use for right now. I dropped a piece on the floor. Yo, I don't like how this is looking. See, I wanted it to be thicker. But I turned it down and it's simmering. So let's hope it turns out right. So I can make the dumplings that I haven't made in about 20 years. <laughs> nah, not 20. 15. That's just as bad. <sighs> it might have been 20 though. Um, Alright, so, yep, I'll be back. Okay, so this is how it's going. I messed up. I didn't even put the um the bone broth in, y'all. The bone broth that has the turmeric in it. It's it's good for inflammation. I didn't even. I think this is gonna be messed up. I don't even know if I want to use my gluten-free biscuit to make dumplings from scratch because I might mess them up. Then everything will be messed up. I don't like messing up my food, y'all. Anyway, so this is the what the finished product so far is looking like. I don't even know if I want to. Whoa. I don't know if I want to um put any dumplings in here or not but if I do I'll record it I done messed up my camera see I'm having a crappy day y'all anyway see you in a bit okay so yeah I decided not to do the dumplings since I didn't make this with all of the ingredients I wanted to like the bone broth and all of that so I'm just gonna taste this now um, this is the first taste I didn't even taste it when it got to uh, freaking cars too loud um yeah so I didn't I'm just going to taste this now, y'all. Well, y'all taste it first. Because <laughs> I'm scared. No. All right, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Mhm. Mm it came out good. Even without the bone broth or any other kind of chicken broth. I just used regular water and the seasonings and the ingredients. And it's pretty good. Mm. Yep. All right. Maybe next time I'll use the dumplings. I'll try and do a video making the dumplings and see how they turn out. I just didn't want to mess up a whole pot knowing I had already um, didn't put in the everything that I wanted to put in. Y'all know what I mean. But yeah, so like this video if you like the video. 
and I will see y'all on the next one. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.